Guys, in this session also, I am going to discussing about a few more important points uh, in calendar's topic. Uh, that is, uh, how to find uh, number of odd days. How to find uh, number of odd days. Number of odd days uh, for 100 years. How to find number of odd days for 100 years, 200 years, 300 years and also 400 years. These four are very important. Uh, once it is done, then we will go for problems. First, uh, let us take 100 years. First question, find the number of odd days in 100 years. Basically, in 100 years, basically in 100 years, we will be having two types of years. One is normal year and another one is leap year. First, uh, you can separate leap years. After that, you can write down uh, normal years. Basically, in 100 years, how many leap years will be there? 100 divided by 4. So many students are doing mistake at this point only. They will think that uh, number of leap years are 25. Number of leap years are 25. But 25 is not number of leap years in 100 years. Why? Because the reason is, if you see, basically 100 by 4 is equal to 25. That is true. But if you look at this 100, from 1 to 100, from 1 to 100, there is a century year. There is a century year, which is 100th year, which is 100th year. As I already explained in the last session, if any century is there, that particular century must be divisible by 400. That particular century must be divisible by 400, not with 4. As 100 is not divisible by 400, therefore, we should not count 100th year is leap year. 100th year is a normal year. Why? Because this is not divisible by 400. But this is divisible by 4. It is not divisible by 400. Now, the number of leap years are 25 minus 1. That will be 24. Number of leap years are 24. And automatically remaining years. Out of 100 years, 24 are leap years. Remaining 76 are normal years. Now, every normal year, Every normal year consisting of one odd day and leap year consisting of two odd days. As we already discussed in the last session, if you have any queries regarding that, you just go through that session, then it will be rectified. Every normal year consisting of one odd day. Every leap year consisting of two odd days. So, here we have 76 normal years. So, you can multiply normal years with one and leap years with 2. So that you will get here 24 to 48 days and this one is 76 days. Now all these are days. All these are days. Now you can divide both the values with 7. Why? Because as you are calculating number of odd days, if you want number of odd days, definitely you need to divide all the days with 7. 76 divided by 7. What is the remainder value? Remainder value is called as uh, odd days. Here, 76 by 7 odd days are 6. Why? Because remainder is equal to 6. Whereas, in this case, uh, we have to add these two. Why? Because uh, 100 is divided into two parts. Similarly, 48 divided by 7. 7, 6, uh, 6 weeks, uh, 42 days plus extra 6 days, 6 plus 6, which is equal to 12. Again, this value is cross as 6. Again, divide this value with 7, so that you will get a remainder is equal to 5. This 5 is called as a number of odd days. Number of odd days, number of odd days in 100 years. Number of odd days in 100 years, which is equal to 5. Number of odd days in 100 years which is equal to 5. Similarly, we will calculate for 200. Similarly, we will calculate for 200, 300 and also 400. Let us take second one is 200 years. 
again do the same process uh, here we have normal years and uh, leap years first uh, let us take uh, leap years 200 divided by 4 which is equal to 50 but out of these 200 years out of these 200 years there are two centuries that is 100 and 200 100 theory is there 200 theory is there these two centuries are not divisible by 400 are not divisible by 400 that is the reason why we should not take uh, these two therefore number of leap years number of leap years that is 48 automatically remaining 152 years are normal years every normal year consisting of one odd day and leap year consisting of two odd days here it is 152 divided by 7 and this value is 96 96 by 7 here 152 divided by 7 here it is how many times it will cancel 2 and after that 1 21 times and the remainder is 5 remainder is 5 again here 7 7 13 7 13 91 so the remainder is again 5 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 this value always less than 7 so again divide with 7 which is equal to remainder is 3 10 by 7 which is equal to remainder 3 Number of odd days in 200 years. 200 years odd days. That is equal to 3. For 100 years number of odd days are 5. For 200 years number of odd days are 3. Now let us see 300 years. Third one. 300 years. In 300 years also same thing. Normal years. Leap years. 300 divided by 4, first you have to calculate a number of leap years. 300 divided by 4, this value is basically 75. But out of these 300 years, uh, there are 3 centuries. 100th year, 200th year and uh, 300th year. These 3 centuries are not divisible by 400. Therefore, these are not leap years. Uh, these are comes under normal years so you need to subtract 3 from this uh, therefore number of leap years are 72 this is 72 and automatically remaining 228 are normal years now you can multiply every normal year consisting of one odd day and leap year consisting of two odd days this is 144 and this one is 228 again divided by 7 divided by 7 what you will get here here it is uh, 7 3s are 21, 4, uh, 40, uh, 18, 18 is nothing but 7 2s are. Here the remainder is 4 plus, uh, here also remainder is 24 times. Uh, so, this is equal to 8. Again, this value is greater than 6. You need to divide with 7. Therefore, you will get remainder is equal to 1. Number of odd days in 300 years. Number of odd days in 300 years, which is equal to 1. And last and final thing we need to calculate, that is uh, 400 years. In 400 years, in 400 years, how many odd days will be there? Listen carefully, this is very important. Uh, again, do the same process, but one small change here. Here, 400 divided by 4 leap years 400 divided by 4 that is equal to 100 and out of these 100th year 200th year 300th year and also 400th year total 4 centuries are there out of these 4 centuries first 3 centuries are not divisible by 4 these 3 are not divisible by 400 but it is divisible by 400. So, you need to subtract only 3, not 4. Some people will subtract 4 from this 100. That is wrong way of doing. So, 97 leap years and normal years are 303. 303 into 1 and 97 into 2. So, divided by 7, divided by 7. 97 2, sir. 97 2, sir, that is 194. 
2 and this one is 303. Now here it is uh, 4 times 28, 23. 23 means uh, that is uh, 3 times uh, 21. Remainder 2. Here remainder is 2 plus uh, 194. 194 is nothing but uh, here it is uh, 7, 2, sir, 14 and 54. 54 means uh, 7, 7, sir, 49. 5 is the remainder. 2 plus 5 which is equal to 7 days. 7 days is nothing but 1 week. 7 days is nothing but 1 week. It means that number of odd days are 0. Number of odd days. Remainder is 0. Again you have to divide 7 by 7. You will get quotient is 1 but remainder is equal to 0. Therefore number of odd days in 400 years. 400 years number of odd days are 0. Right? In this way you can calculate 400 years odd days. Now I will compare all those 4. First 100 years, 200 years, 300 years, 400 years. Again 500 years, 600 years, 700, 800. Next 900, 1000, 1100, 1200 and so on and so on and so on. Here it is 1600, 2000, 2400 and so on. See, number of odd days are 5 for this column and next number of odd days 3 for this column. Number of odd days 1 for this column and number of odd days are 0 for this column. See, one thing you must notice is for every 400 multiple, for every 400 multiple of years, number of odd days are always 0. Number of odd days are always 0 for every 400 multiples of years. For every 400 multiples of years, number of odd days are 0. And for 100 years, uh, that is 5. 200 years, that is 3. And 300 years, that is uh, 1. Suppose, for example, if you have uh, 1970. If you have 1970 years, then you can divide this 1970 as. You can split that maximum 400 multiple in this 1970 which is nothing but 600. After that, again add 300 to this. After that, again add 70. 1600, first you can write maximum 400 multiple. After that, maximum century. After that, remaining years left over. Here, for these days, for 1600 years, for 1600 years, number of odd days directly 0. For 300 years, number of odd days 1. Now, you need to find number of odd days for only this number. In this way, you can uh, easily get uh, this number of odd days whenever you are solving the problems. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoy the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.